ready because I have been stalking Romeo driving from California to here for the last day and a half. Let's see where he is now. I forced him to share his location with me so that I could see him where he's at just in case, I don't know if he's not responding or something. Um, I mean, he drove 18 hours all by himself. He is 57 miles away. And then I felt this like rush come over me that I was like, oh, I look so bad. I want to look good. Like, I want... Kinsley, you want to get a brushing for dad? So you look really pretty, even though you're the cutest thing still. But you can use a little brushing. You want a little brush brush? Huh? You haven't seen your dad in over a month. Does that mean you don't care? No, you love your dad. Felt this urge come over me. I was like, I've got to get ready. So I'm wearing like real clothes. I'm gonna do my makeup. Usually it takes us a complete 24 hours when we drive by ourselves. Um, he obviously is doing the whole thing by himself. So he's stopped a lot more times, obviously. So it's taken him exactly a day and a half. And he did it all by himself. He's so cool. He did it all by himself. I mean, I knew he could, but you know, we've just never, we've never done it alone and the reason he's driving i need my car i can't like i mean my parents have let me borrow their car and it's been nice for sure because they kind of have like more of a work truck that i can haul some stuff in but it's just you know something about just having your own car they also use that car and i feel bad and what if i mess it up i know he's going to be tired i know that he's his body's probably gonna feel really sore and i know he's gonna want to shower <laughs> Hopefully he feels up to it since it's so early. Maybe he can rest for a little bit. But maybe we can go thrift shopping because it's Saturday. And it's thrift shopping day and Romeo loves to thrift shop. I have all my makeup in this drawer. I actually didn't bring my eyebrow pencil. So I got one from Walmart. It's the CoverGirl eyebrow pencil. Eyebrows are kind of the most important part of my whole makeup routine. Like if my eyebrows aren't done, I feel so bizarre. I look back at older pictures of me and my eyebrows are going like this. What the heck? I'm like, why did I not brush my eyebrows? What, what was that about? Why did I just skipped right over them like they were no big deal? So here's the difference. This is an eyebrow done. This is the eyebrow not done. I used to, I used to do this every day, like not do that. a little chicer and put together like a tribe like I did something to my when hair. I flew out here over a month ago now I completely forgot to bring any perfume and I normally pack at least one of like my favorite one or whatever season we're in um, and I completely forgot which brings us to our sponsor for today's video so thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video so that I can tell you more about them I've actually shared Scentbird before and my favorite perfumes at least Scentbird is a monthly subscription service where you can try out over 600 different brands of perfume for just $16. And they come in these little tubes, look how pretty they are. And it twists up like this so that you can spray. You can also pull the tube out so that you can see which perfume is in which case. And at just $16, if you guys are a perfume lover or a cologne lover, you know how expensive perfumes can actually get. And they carry brands like Sisley brand. This brand right here is a $295 bottle of perfume. This is a 30 day supply and you can try different perfumes every month. Since we're going into spring, I also want this month, I wanted to try something more fresh because I love that kind of like sand and sea smell too from Memoir and it's called By the Sea. It smells so good. It smells like you're on vacation. The Sicily one, I'm gonna butcher the name, Isa La Nuit. This is French and I'm French and I still can't say it, Nuit. 
Nui. Nui. Black currant, Durano rose, magnolia, freesia, and vanilla. Also sent this one for me to try out. Illuminaire Intensia by Vince Komodo. This one has the vanilla and sandalwood, which I love. I think that's why I like the kind of sandy beach ones. When you go on their website, you can take a quiz and then it can give you recommendations because perfumes is all about smelling. So imagine paying a lot of money for a perfume, a big bottle, and then not liking it. But that's what's great about the monthly subscription because you can try out all of the ones that you think you might like with kind of the undertones that you like and see what you love. So if you want to try out any new perfumes or colognes for spring and summer, definitely click the link in my description box and use code McKenna30 to get 30% off. And that makes it just $11 a month, not 16. So you can try all your favorite ones. The subscription is also super flexible. So you can upgrade to get two or three, or you can skip a month, postpone, whatever you like. So it's super, super flexible. Let's see where he's at. The exit. He's at the exit. Kinsley, we gotta brush you. He's at the exit. Oh, Kinsley, you gotta be pretty. She's gonna, she hates this. You gotta be pretty. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's coming in the front gate. Kinsley. <gasps> Wow, you smell good. So good. I brushed her for you. Oh, I brushed her. She scratched your neck. Oh, she's messing me up. She missed you. Oh. <laughs> it's just been too long. <laughs> just like, oh, sorry. It's just, he's barking. It's just been too long. <sighs> I can't believe you made it. I can't believe you drove all that way. Hi, baby. Hi. I had to fix all my makeup. I had like lot, like like tear stream marks all in my makeup. <laughs> He's back! I'm so happy to have my car. I'm so happy not to drive. <laughs> we are gonna go eat lunch at Highs. Yours looks so good. So he got a black bacon lettuce avocado tomato. And I got tuna. Look at that corn chowder. Yeah, the corn chowder looks good. Hi. Oh, that was so good, but I'm so full. Are you full? Mm -hmm. So there's so many great thrift stores and antique shops in town. And there's this one shop that he has never been to yet. I just went in for the first time. They've got so much stuff. They don't really have clothes, but they've got, it's so big. So we're, it's not cheap. Oh, in here? I don't think antique malls. Yeah, and anything with the word antique on it isn't gonna be cheap. The birds fly this stuff. They have really cool vintage books everywhere. They've just got the weirdest little antiques. That's so pretty. Look, 100 plus year old books. Isn't that crazy? Boy Scout books. literally that size I think it's $75 I got it I got it for 20 I like their stuff, man. Like, how much is that jug right there? It's $175. Oh, hello. There's a vintage pop-up shop today at 8th Street Market. 
they always do there's a, they're always doing some kind of like something like something I don't know why I think that those types of pictures are so pretty. Yeah. Jalapeno, honey mustard. A little yard sale. He's only open on the weekends. He's gotten a lot of stuff though. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like Romeo came on the perfect weekend. There's all these like pop-up vintage thrift situations all around. We just passed another one and outside of a store. They're doing like a vintage pop-up antique thing. We're also at Pass It On. Yeah, they're open. Pass It On, which is another thrift store that I love here. We're just, you know, going, we're just going around. <laughs> <laughs> what are the words? Look at that. Look how beautiful and delicate these are. Do you like these, babe? They're pretty. They're a dollar, dollar a piece. And there's eight of them. I love how delicate they are. Imagine like a mix of all pretty designs or kind of like shapes like that. And I love this. This is a dollar. It's all chipped up, but I like it. Up up tent sale. I mean, I don't love those, but look how cool they are. They're all in a different language. Are you serious right now? What? You're joking. What? Are those good Levi's? Fifty dollars. That's a Urban Outfitter prices. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, it's exactly the same. It, yeah, I've done 
doing some work. I had a store. Oh, there's a big trash. There's a big trash pile. Look different? Nope. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show Romeo all of the stuff I have done and have not done um, the entire month I've been here. We just got up to the house. So I just showed Romeo all of the walls and rooms that we needed to break down. Uh, he decided to go ahead and take care of one. I could never! You handed me a crowbar. <laughs> I did. I was like, here, you do it with this. And he, so go watch last Sunday's video to see him do this. We're about to do so much demo while he's here. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get in a workout. I'm gonna get in a workout. We've been trying to say that we want to work out more. This is like the best workout that there is. He's, I think he's excited. Are you excited? Want some pegs? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start over here, taking out the windows, doing that stuff. We're not gonna like have it collapse on us. Even though this was just a porch. So it's, it's just a, a boarded in porch. You can even see the porch over here. Look, you see where the old porch used to be? The overhang? I ignorantly bought a new sander for down here, but didn't realize that the battery and the charger was sold separately. I got all the way back over and it's not around the corner like in LA to the um, hardware store. It's like, 25 minutes away. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the grocery store. We realized and remembered that there's a Goodwill in Kerrville as well. So, you know, we gotta stop. They're not closed yet, so we gotta try. Are you ready? I wanna find at least one thing. At least one thing. I know, he hasn't found anything. I found those glasses and that dollar little canister. And you haven't found anything. Not yet. Ready? Oh, dang. Oh. There you go. You're all ready. Thanks. <laughs> Kind of a pretty mirror. All of those places we went to and all I found, uh, I spent $9. Mm -hmm. You didn't buy anything. I didn't spend He one. didn't spend a single dollar, Kinsley. But I did find those glasses, which are really pretty and very delicate like, I like them. Uh, and that one pot for a dollar, that's it. It's still fun to go look and see what you could find, the potential. But we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we will see you guys again next week and for more fun demo content over on our other channel. Wow. <laughs> she just wants her baby. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. This one doesn't work anymore. You need a new battery, Kinsley. But you still love it, huh?